Hi everyone, it's Lynn. Um, we are going to do our color draw today um, on what is our next color. And I think I'm gonna need to spread these out a little bit just because the quiltlet is a lot. And then um, we're doing, I'm doing some other stuff that's kind of secret right now that I can't tell you, but I will soon. It will come out soon. Um, and that's kind of got me doing like, ah! Good things, good things. It's good, it's exciting good things. So, but I did want to, I did want to show you, because I know you guys, I talked to you about um, doing a uh, quilt for my next door neighbor. And I showed you the quilt. And when I got, I told you I was doing five by five, which is the picture from when it was being put together. It's been gifted, he loved it. and. Um, he's feeling better, so it's all it's all good news. But he's a big North Carolina fan, um, and so it's already over next door and um, being used. So yay! Uh, but he's a big North Carolina fan, and I just wanted to show you when I was laid it out five by five. I was happy with that, but I wasn't. What I wasn't happy about with it was the fact that he's a big tall guy, and when I put it on my design wall, I was like, uh, this isn't big enough. I need to make it bigger. So, and I only had a yard of the North Carolina fabric, or two yards, I think I had two yards. Um, so this is what I ended up with, it was this. And so if you'll notice, I added another line or another row to the bottom, so I needed those. And my original idea was to have just the North Carolina fabric on the outside. And this is where, I think you need to think about this from a standpoint of this is where you know, we kind of get in the middle of projects and though, oh wait, that I didn't work. How do I solve this problem? And that's kind of how I design stuff is I get in the middle and go, oh wait, this there's a problem here. How do I solve it? So, and I didn't want anything to go to waste. So I had enough that I could do two of those big snowballs. That was the big issue because you had um, you needed a 10 by 10, or no, these were nine inch. You needed nine inch, um, nine and a half inch, you know, solid piece square of fabric. And if you're cutting strips and blocks and stuff, sometimes if you don't think about that early, you're not gonna get enough of those nine inch squares and you're gonna have pieces because you've already cut these strips to cut, you know, your, your nine patch or something. So I did have enough because I was judicious on how I cut it, but I didn't have enough to make the um, borders as wide as I wanted to. So went back to the drawing board and realized that I could cut a smaller border and I had tons of white, so the white wasn't the issue. It was the North Carolina fabric. But I also realized that these snowball blocks, when making them, when you trim away the, the fabric in the back, it allows you to have extra half square triangles. And those half square triangles, so I thought, well, you get four for each one, I can make pinwheels. In making the pinwheels, it allows me to then have a secondary border that I'm then in, interspersing these pinwheels. So I didn't waste fabric, which is kind of a fun thing to think about. Like, oh, I didn't waste any fabric. I like that idea. So, and then I just used white for my binding. But wanted to just let you know that there was, like, this grew from my original, you know, design. And I realized it was too small. He's a tall guy. Wanted to make sure that it was long enough that he would enjoy watching his favorite basketball and football team, you know, on the couch. And it would cover his feet. <laughs> so uh, that allowed it to get bigger. And I think it ended up being like 72 by 62 or something like that, or 63 or something. But those pinwheels were directly, they directly came from the fabric that was behind the snowball blocks when we made the snowball blocks. So I wanted you to see that, and that's what had happened with the um, quilt. But I was really happy how it turned out. Super simple to do. And just wanted to give you an update is I did add another row, and I think this was like a four inch border and then another four inch border 
um, with the pinwheels when I trimmed away the back. And that's what determined how big this was, is how big those ended up being. And because of how you trim those away, you kind of had to um, sew them together and get them trimmed up. And then whatever the smallest one was, that you trimmed everything back to that size, you know. Um, and that's how I made those. So I was really pleased. He loved it. So, yay. All right. Da, da, da. It is the crayon color challenge. Uh, so I noticed that Cherrywood Fabrics is doing a Crayola um, quilt that you can buy all their hand dyed fabric that matches crayons. And it, then they give, I think it came with a pattern where you make a crayon quilt. So um, if you're interested, and again, nobody sponsored me. I just noticed this this week. So, hopefully somebody will sponsor me soon. Anyway, look at all, these are what we have left of the 48, are we 48? Yes. Although, I'm gonna be like, I don't wanna do all these browns. There's a lot of browns in here. I don't wanna do all the browns. So anyway, I'm not gonna look. I don't know. Please don't tell me it's brown. <gasps> Ooh, it's red-orange. Now, hmm. <laughs> Let's do the overhead because I know you guys like to see this when it's, um, oh, th then do the overhead. Okay. I know how to use my thing. Um, so red, orange. Wow. I love this color. Orange is my favorite favorite, but any, anything in the orange family I think is a great color. Red, orange. Red, orange. And we're in week 17, right? I don't remember. Da, da, da. That's 15. 15. Yes, week 17. Although we know we're not going by weeks. It's just... And I make my sevens weird, F FYI. Um, but I love this color. It's a rich orange. I don't think this color is easy to find. I think this is a harder color to find. It's like the red purple, uh, red violet kind of color. It's that, it's those in between the complementary colors and the next complementary color or whatever um, that are harder to find. Like you don't see them printed as much. But I'm wondering if our modern quilters are doing some more of these, or modern quilt fabric designers. Um, but I love this color. I think it's a great color. I'm going to find a ton to go with this. Dun, dun, dun. Challenge accepted. All right. So gather all of your red orange fabric, which I think you'll have a... I don't think you're going to find as much in your stash as you think you will. I think there'll be more orange than red orange. Um, but here's what we've already done. Look at that. That's kind of fun. Anyway. All right. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and, um, we will do red, orange. It'll take me a while to get this together because seriously, there's a ton of, of stuff that I'm working on for you. And it, hopefully it's all going to be good. It really is. It's just, I'm the only one editing and stuff. So. It just takes a little bit. Anyway, all right. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.